Hi, Dr. Ramsey Shoke here. I'm a board certified plastic surgeon in Dallas, Texas, and we're doing a short series on safety in plastic surgery, which again, we always say is the most important topic uh, that we deal with. So today we're briefly discussing the concern for a blood clot that could develop in the leg and travel to your lung and really cause a serious medical condition such as a pulmonary embolus where the clot goes to your lung. Well, as plastic surgeons doing elective procedures, we are probably at the foremost uh, frontier of doing everything we can to keep that from happening and take all preventative measures. Some of the measures we take are first by doing a risk assessment of every patient and there are very objective criteria to look at that would tell us whether a patient is at higher risk for a blood clot or not. And without getting into the details, these are details that are very well established and becoming more established. So once we determine if someone is at higher risk for an elective procedure with a risk of a blood clot, then we take measures to hopefully prevent that. We do things like make sure someone hasn't flown in for eight hours for surgery because they're possibly dehydrated and the risk of a long airplane flight is already something that we know makes you more prone to a blood clot. We make sure you drink plenty of fluids the day before surgery to make sure you're not dehydrated, which can increase the risk of a blood clot. We make sure that there's no family history of a significant clotting disorder. We ask all those questions to try and make sure that we're aware of all medical issues. And of course, during the surgery, we do several maneuvers that reduce the risk. We put boots on the legs or the calves that will compress the calves every few minutes to make sure that the veins in the legs stimulate the body's own natural anticoagulant. We make sure you're up walking around as soon as possible after surgery, which reduces the risk. We don't want you in bed for days after surgery. And of course, after elective cosmetic surgery, there's rarely a case where you can't get up and move around almost immediately. And of course, in many cases where there's an increased risk, such as in an abdominoplasty or a tummy tuck, we may actually give you a light blood thinner the day after surgery for a few days to even prevent the blood clot risk with those higher risk surgeries such as a tummy tuck. So if you're con contemplating plastic surgery, make sure you have your surgeon at least discuss blood clot risk with you because it's an important risk and every surgeon knows that it's a risk and every surgeon takes every effort to hopefully prevent that. And so I hope that helps discuss at least one of the risks and safety issues in plastic surgery, which is a deep vein thrombosis or a blood clot that could develop.